It's been a big week in VVT land, hasn't it? Today's no different, because today the Artec exhaust system gets installed on the Turbo Miata. Let's go. So here is the beautiful Mandrel TIG welded three inch Catalyst Artec exhaust system. Custom built to my specification, mostly being the dual exit with optional straight pipe on demand. If you want more information on this exhaust system, the carpassionchannel.com slash the box will give you a bunch of pictures and kind of more details about what's going on with it. But today, the install. See the downpipe is almost made it up with the turbo there. I uh, just gotta get the V-band clamp on it and then start to line it up a little better. All right, got that bad boy on there, not too bad. You don't wanna tighten up your V-band clamps all the way, just snug enough to hold everything in place, but still be able to rotate that downpipe around so you can adjust for the rest of the exhaust system. There's the bottom of our downpipe and I'm getting ready to connect the midpipe. So my strategy there is I'm just gonna hang it by the one exhaust hanger and that'll somewhat hold it up in place and support the weight of the system once I connect it to the downpipe. Right, Ellie? Right. Pipe is installed, which brings us back here to the muffler. I just have it, I started jacking it up and I'm just hanging it with zip ties for now just so I can get all the V-band clamps in place and then I'll put the rubber hangers on later, which I still have to buy because I don't have any, so this will have to work for now. It actually works pretty good even though the muffler is not even close to up in its place. You can take a couple zip ties and throw them around the hanger and then as you pull the zip ties, it'll pull the muffler up into place. Hard to do it with one hand here, but get the idea. The zip ties are holding it in place, but you can see the tips are still hanging down. So I got a jack underneath one of the exhaust tips. And now as I jack it up, you can see it lines those two pipes up makes it a lot easier to get those clamps on with the pipes held in place like that. There we go for now. It's not like a thousand percent perfect alignment. It might take a little bit of tweaking. Might have to relocate one of the hangers or something, but it's looking pretty dialed. It's gonna function. Uh, it's, got, it's got pretty good clearance actually. I'm sure I'll have to diagnose some rattling at some point, but the exhaust system is in. The last thing to do is just run the cable for the cutout and then it'll be all done. So inside the trunk, there's a little grommet and I ran my cord through it for the cutout switch. Plug just pops out on the bottom, gets plugged into the cutout there. And then I just ran it through where the roll bar comes through underneath the carpet. Comes out here where the trunk release and the gas door release switch is. It's gonna go under the center console right up to here and then I'll probably mount the switch somewhere up there. Maybe something a little more stealth, I'll figure it out. But at that point, we'll be ready to go. Straight pipe on demand, ladies and gents. All right, so the exhaust is completely installed. Everything fits perfect. It's a short little video, but also a short install. It's just a few clamps and some hangers, but I wanna keep you guys updated along the way. Next up, we're gonna be diving inside the MS3. I'll show you what changes you have to make to put a VVT engine into your 1.6 chassis. And then after that, we're gonna fire the car up. So I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you're getting stoked. Peace out. Back from the dead.